Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is going to be for those that uh, want to use the liftoff simulator for your FPV experience uh, and you purchased it but there's no link. Basically I bought the software and was hoping to get a link to download it and the PDF just says something about downloading but there's no link and the PDF is sort of broken and doesn't work and you sort of have to go on an Easter egg hunt to download the software. So um, without any further ado, let's get started, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna um, download the, the Steam software, okay? And then after you've downloaded the Steam software, you just go into your desktop, you know, your finder and you search for it and you see it'll load, right? You can click on community, your name, uh, you can click on anything here, wherever you are, store, right and what you want to do is put your product code there click i agree and you put your product code there or let's say you're on library like where do i go you just click activate a product okay because you have to activate it through here so what you want to do is you want to find that code that was sent in the email and then paste it in okay and then click i agree and continue and then once you click continue things will just happen um and then of course if you have any more to activate just click yes or activate more or just click done okay in our case we're going to click done all right and then once you click done it'll bring you to this screen uh, as you can see purchase summary uh, wallet balance is zero you can you can you can you can just look through browse through here if you like uh, but what we want to do is right after that screen is basically go um, to the library you click on library right let's say you click on download see it was there for a second so we click library and there it is right there it's liftoff but we can't do anything yet uh, click it and now you can you see it says install okay the required space look at that 14 gigabytes it's a pretty big program this better be good right and you also have to make sure you have the space uh, so open a folder on your desktop and if you look on the bottom at the bottom of the folder you'll see uh, it'll tell you how much space you have available on your hard drive for me it's 118 it's a fair amount right uh, if it's not enough it might be enough if you're ready to go you can click install but if you don't have enough space there's a program called what size I'll, it'll show you how it looks um, what size tells you what's on your Macintosh and how big it is and you can decide what you want to do with it as you can see I have a hot one gig four gigs in my library 13 eight of the oh, 18 gigs on my desktop and you decide only you can decide what you can delete um, and what, or what you can, tr can transfer to an external hard drive, as you can see on my desktop, which I'll do in a bit. I'll transfer everything over um, because uh, nothing will cost more than crashing your drone. So maybe I'll take the to post folder and put it on the, the external drive, right? Just to free up a little more space. So when you're ready, you just click install. You might get a little error. Just click OK. Um, and then when you're ready, click install. I'm going to click create desktop shortcut, which would be great. Because uh, you know, or you can move the move it into your applications folder, and then put it in your new dock. You can click cancel, but in my case, I'm, I might I want to have a, a shortcut. Just click OK. See, voila! There's your liftoff desktop shortcut, which you could put wherever you want. I might put mine in the dock, and then you have this screen. I'm not sure if I'm going to click don't show again for a new application like this. I, I want to see everything, and you know, take the time to read it a little bit later. Um, and as you can see, it's downloading. Uh, this is going to take quite a bit so for you guys it'll happen in real time because I think I'm going to want to scrub through this um, so that it's remember it's 14 gigs and it says one of 10 gigs uh, I'm not sure where the other gigs went and as you look at the bottom it says zero of one items complete um, it looks like as you can download different games and different versions of the simulator different levels in this case we're just going to do one uh, but we'll just scrub through it really quick so it happens for your real time press play uh, I'm not sure what the liftoff metal rendering is but I'm just gonna say play liftoff default you know just to keep things simple you could probably always use this option you decide if you're familiar with it you, you know, only you know what's best for you press play um, and then as you can see things will continue it's gonna load it takes a little bit of time to load and that's only because it's the first time experience if you look on the the left you see it says lift off running okay and there's your um your uh it, it, this is your uh alias it's only two kilobytes which is really small uh it's not the actual application because the actual application is running through the uh, steam and look at that you see that it's still loading remember the first time you you open it up it's going to take a little bit 
Okay, it's, it's still running. Any minute, any day now. This is just the application running. Uh, and as you can see, I've unlocked no levels because it'll take a couple of months to actually master it before I actually try this on my FPV, on my Avada. Um, and as you can see, it's still loading. Remember the first time, it just takes a little bit long to, to load, but I'm looking forward. Ah, oh, there we are. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, if we have a firewall, just grant permissions. For me, I'm going to click forever and any. If I use a little snitch, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Always want to know which applications call back home. Um, as you can see, there's Avatar Man. Uh, let's see, you can click next. Of course, choose your language. Uh, view controller. So I'm going to click view controller. Now, only you know which controller you have and most likely we'll get an error. Yep, we did. Problems connecting to your controller because it's not connected. So you have to connect the controller to your computer. In my case, with the controller too, I have to connect it via USB-C. And as you can see, there's you know some text here. Uh, maybe you have the controller that's here in the picture, you know, and then you just follow the prompts to set up. Remember, this is just an install video. We're not going over the configuration because uh, a lot of folks seems to have the experience that I have where you order the liftoff application, but there's no link to the download and no one tells you to, to you have to use uh, Steam. It just says there's a download link and fine in the description, blah, blah. I'm like, wait, where's the app? And I actually reached out to them and no one reached out back. And so here, that's why we're creating this video. So let's click hide. All right, you can um, go back if you want. Look, look, look right here, we have liftoff armed, liftoff tilted, um, different, I guess, different versions of the application. Liftoff weightless. The guy looks like he's standing there weightlessly as he floats back and forth. Liftoff helix, liftoff Febreze, liftoff flux, and liftoff gatekeeper. You, you know, you decide, you can go back. Um, we can return to main menu. Let's click yes and see what happens. And um, most likely, now things are just loading really nicely in real time to some extent. And as you can see, we have single player, quit. Um, these are just multiplayer options. We have all these, you can sign in. We're signed in, as you can see, my name's there. Or, you know, if you're on someone else's computer tutorial, which is great. You know, you decide what you want to do, but now you've got to installed on your machine and we'll press quit let's see how fast it actually loads now that we loaded it the first time was able to get coffee and come back um let's see oh nice pretty good works like an actual game you know everything just is pretty fluid and in real time it's pretty fast um so it's just the first version of the the load that oh wow nice look at that so if you have your remote set up you can just press play options this is really nice game graphics audio controls most likely i'll probably you know set up my controls you can do buttons you can fly with the buttons but it's not the same for the amount of money you spent on the game you want the full experience but you can get the gist of it by using controllers too single player which is most likely what i'll do free flight i'll probably do free flight probably do a tutorial first and then free flight um, just to get the gist of it after I set everything up. Or maybe you want to dive right in, right in. Game, graphics options. This is nice. This is more robust for the actual gamer. You know, someone who, who's really uh, to go deep in it. Audio settings, controls again when it comes to options. And let's see. As you can see, there's the remote. It's going to bring, yep, we got an error. Um, you might, you know, you decide which remote you're going to use. And I probably use a remote for the, for the, to keep the experience fluid so everything would transpose to your drone, right? That's why we're, you would get this. Let's quit. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I hope this video helped you and you were better able to have a seamless install process by installing Liftoff using the application called Steam. Uh, I'm sure there are other ways to install it, but that's if you did it this way um, through the actual website. And um, let us know about your flying experience. Or maybe there are other simulators out there that work better than Liftoff. Um, only you know. And feel free to leave your ideas and suggestions for other videos down below. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, or again, or comments, just leave them down below. And I'll see you all next time.